these see the packaging baby get into get into it and it just looks like i put on foundation and i didn't super cute and the glue really works hold it got the dumpy yeah pour it know what i mean bitch on it on it on it on it they all in my face when i know what i got Love what you see. You wanna deal on my shit so high. Yeah, I bet you catch a feel. I don't know who you are if I'm keeping it real. What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It's your Terry Brianna. If you don't know, now you know, and we're best friends. Nice to meet you, sis. So make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And when you do, make sure that you turn on your push notifications so you never miss an upload when I drop. Also, make sure you're following me on my social medias because I do post there outside of YouTube. Okay? Okay? Okay, okay, okay. So I'm super excited because today's video for one is sponsor, okay? Ching ching, we getting that coin. And for two, it's cute and it's a tutorial that's needed, okay? So in today's video, I will be showing you guys my summer go-to makeup routine. I know I just did a makeup tutorial not too long ago. I was beat to the gods, okay? It involved a lot of makeup, a lot of products, and today's tutorial is going to be nothing like that it's going to be lightweight it's going to be cute it's going to give similar vibes like oh she beat and she took her time but it's summer approved you know what i'm saying you're not going to be outside sweating dripping your face isn't going to melt off but you're still going to give bad bitch okay and the most important part to today's look is going to be the lashes as you can tell my natural lashes have grown back you know what i'm saying they try to do a little something, something, but today, Hollywood Lash is going to help me achieve their dramatic fire vibe with, like, little to no effort, okay? I don't have to go out and get lash extensions. So, let me show y'all. Let me show y'all because these lashes look so, they're, they look so good. Hope, give me a minute. I'm so excited. Okay, so once again, Hollywood Lash is sponsoring today's video. Thank you guys so much for working with me. Do you guys see the packaging? Do you see the packaging? Baby, get into, get into it. So off rip, as you can tell, Hollywood Lash is all about the glam look. Do you see how bomb the packaging is, baby? Stop playing. And the lashes just make you feel like you are that girl. Hopefully you guys can tell how fluffy they are. They look so stinking pretty. I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to open them, try them all at the end. And I'm also going to give you guys a little bit more info on Hollywood Lash later. But I don't want to like wrap your head off. So let's just get into the overall packaging, okay? All of this stuff did come in a bigger box, but it has my address on it. So we ain't going to show that. But y'all, they give you information on how to apply the lashes, how to safely remove them, application process, tips and tricks, all that information is right here. Oh, a cute little letter. We love that, okay? Professionalism. And then all of these sinking goodies, okay? You guys, I, I can't hold it and show you guys at the same time because I feel like I'm going to break something. So, let me take my time. But, y'all, I have been wanting an eyelash curler for so long. I'm going to put this to use today. Literally, I was just about to go buy one from the beauty supply, but they were all out. So, look at God working the magic, okay? They also give me an eyeliner pen. We love that. Always use this to do an eyeliner. I miss doing my wings. I used to do wings in high school so much. But I stopped doing them, but I definitely will use this to, like, put my little moles. They gave me lash adhesive pins. I cannot wait to really try this out and see if it works. Because I don't even know where my other lash adhesive is. So, if this works, baby, we're going to put this to use today, okay? I have the lashes in style. Music award. Action. And honor. Right here. These are so... So, 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 so pretty. This is action and this is honor. Please excuse my raggedy nails. But these are so fire. These are nice and fluffy and wispy for my girls who want that drama. And these are like more wispy, a little bit more on the natural side, but still long, give you that length. Ugh. And then you guys, they sent me a whole book of lashes. Okay, first off, they sent me more than I picked out. I love when companies do that. I feel like I'm being taken care of. You know what I'm saying? They were very professional when they reached out to me. No DMs, straight 
emails we love that do you guys see the material these are to die for do you guys see what we're working with ah, i'm so excited okay so let's hurry up and get the makeup look over so we can then apply our lashes at the end of the video i can give you guys more information about hollywood lash hopefully i have a discount code for you guys so y'all can save some coin so let's get into today's look and stay tuned so if y'all want the products that i will be using in today's video just make sure you go ahead and check the link in the description box below or i'll put it on the screen somewhere that is my most recent makeup tutorial where i listed and linked all of the products and i told you guys how i felt about them you know what i'm saying so today's video we're just going to focus on some light makeup so not going to be as detailed but still very informative so first thing i'm going in with is the primers um cocoa butter oil before you do any anything to your face in terms of makeup you have to moisturize okay um also when i wash my face in the morning and at night time i always use tea tree oil so that's the first thing that was really the first thing i used today in terms of moisturizing my skin but this is amazing it's lightweight it smells good feels good on your skin if you see some lace leave me alone <laughs> and it's a perfect base underneath your primer because it's going to make sure that your makeup looks nice and moisturized throughout the day. And that's exactly what we need. Also, I love the fact that my skin is doing amazing right now. Like, talk to me nice. Don't talk to me twice, okay? Like, what? You don't see no, like, active acne. So, we love that. Oh, my nose ring is trying to escape. I don't think I have time for that. So now that our skin is moisturized, I'm going to go in to fluffing out my brows, but I will not be going crazy with the products. I'm literally just going to line the bottom, fill in the sparse areas, and we're done. But you're going to see how I lightly do this. First off, wipe off that excess oil because if you don't, nothing really going to pop up anyways. Nothing's really going to show for you. Boom. So yeah, like I said, not too much product at all. A little bit goes a long way and I did not tell you guys what I'm using. So sorry, I'm using the NYX Micro Pencil and Espresso. It's my favorite. So now it's time to conceal the brows and I will be using the Pro Touch Full Cover Concealer from Kiss in the color Toffee. And then I'll also be using this to do my face. So I really made sure to only use a little bit of product. You don't need to go crazy because less is more in this situation. And then after I do this, I'm going to set my brow hairs with some brow gel. They look so good. Ah, we love a good brow day. Okay, so now that that's done, it's time for primer. I'm using Fenty Beauty. That's my favorite. It's the hydrating one. It smells good. It's pink. It's cute. And then I'm going to skip foundation because this is our summer routine. So, plus you don't need it. A little bit of concealer and contour will go a long way. So, this is a weird step, but I actually like the contour first now. So, I'm taking the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer, and I'm just going to put a little bit because if we're not putting foundation, we don't need too much contour. Uh-uh, uh-uh. So, like, usually I do a little swoop like that, but today I'm literally just going to do, like, a couple of dots. so right now it's giving me bronze it's giving me glow but like still kind of flat so i know y'all see these designer bags under my eyes honey so we're gonna get rid of those by using same kiss concealer but first i use toffee under my brows and now we're going in with warm honey she's a little bit lighter
So I know y'all saw that I did not use any foundation and I still have really good coverage. Like, hold on, let me see if I can like change the lighting for you guys. Just so y'all could tell. Like really, really good coverage. You know, nothing, the light is dimmed so you can see what it's really giving. Do you see my forehead and how that concealer really got the girls together? I probably need to like wax my upper lip. Don't judge me, but yeah, we're looking really, really good with no foundation anywhere. So now I just go back in because the concealer did get rid of some of our contour. No extra products. I'm just going back to bring a little bit more color into the face. Because I love looking bronze, girl. I love looking bronze. So now it's time to set our concealers. First, I'm going in with Fenty Beauty. This is in the color Passion. And this is what's going to help me look very much so beat with a little bit of product. Plus, it's a powder. So it's really good for the summertime because it's not going to have us looking sweaty, okay? Because the powder is just going to absorb all the moisture. And the fact that this is really my skin tone is going to make it look like I have like a powder foundation on. So you want to control your sweat. You want to control the natural oils that are going to exert from your face. You know, you want to control all that. So I now apply powder all over my face. Plus, this powder is really, really good. It's really close to my skin tone. So it's not going to have me looking cakey and ashy. This looks really good like wowzers. So now I'm going to set my contour as well with the Black Radiance True Complexion. Same brush as I was using before. And I don't know if I said it in these videos already, but these e.l.f. brushes I've been using lately, baby, just have been doing it for me. We love it. So this is also going to give me like an airbrush, bronzy type of look, type of vibe. But it's powder. It's a lightweight product. Man, it's not going to have me out here dripping in the sweat, you know what I'm saying? Like, granted, I'm not going to do this every time I go out in the summer like no man. Like, that's why we do our skin routines and we drink water over here so we don't have to wear makeup. We can go out with our natural bare face and we look good. But if there is ever a time where I want to look beat, but I want to get away with not using as much product, and I want to feel light, this is what I'm doing, okay? So I cannot and will not ever forget about blush. I will not skip blush ever again. This is the Sephora Duo in the color Tiger Lily. And it's so pretty, okay? So stinking pretty. I like to take my nice big fluffy Sephora 91 brush. And I like to place the darker color at the bottom and the orangey color at the top. Because I'm going to apply it like this. So the orange is going to be at the apples of my cheeks. And the darker color can blend in with my contour. I think that's why I like it. Because it's like a seamless, a seamless little cute blush. And it just pulls everything together, okay? So now it's time to make things melt into each other. Because you want your makeup to look like butter, baby. So I'm going in with my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And I'm going to take a bath. Okay? I'm going to drown. I didn't lie, did I? And it just looks like I put on foundation and I didn't. So in my regular routine, this is what I do. I do my oil, my primer, and then I go into my foundation, right? Favorite foundation from e.l.f. I do a full face. Then I go in with three coats of concealer which really sound a little bit crazy because this is giving the same vibe with a little bit of concealer only on my does not a bags my forehead and down my nose that's crazy usually i go on with toffee first and then in the inner corners i go on with warm honey and then i let that dry down i blend it in and then i go in with another concealer from elf in a lighter color like that's too much that's that's a little bit too much okay so we want this summer look to last all night long so after i go in with the morphe spray i go in with my holy grail this is the all-nighter from urban decay setting spray and i don't take a bath but i take like a light shower okay 
and as she's drying down i'm gonna go in with wet and wild their highlighter in the color precious petals only on my nose i don't highlight anything else just the very tip because i think it looks super duper cute and the only thing i don't like about urban decay spray is can y'all see this little drip right here i don't like that and that's what it does to your face sometimes the setting mist is so light and airy that you don't get that but sometimes you get that with the regular sprays and i don't really like that but you can't tell me that i'm not beat right now okay and now it is time for our lippy i kind of want to do a light lip today so i'm taking la girl i believe this is their eyeliner in the color deepest brown and then i'm going in with nyx suede in the color sandstorm and i think i'm gonna top it with this nyx butter gloss in the color is this fortune cookie it's fortune cookie <laughs> Okay, so I forgot how light fortune cookie was, and she looking a little ghosty right now. So I'm gonna go in with the Fenty gloss just because this is nice and brown. And I think adding a little bit of this will create like a really cute color. Yep, that's really all I needed. Her. Mm-hmm. So you guys, lately I have not been putting on lashes. Like it's been a minute since I put on lashes. To be honest, I've just been doing mascara and going out the dough, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like today's look, we can spice things up, especially since we have such a cute variety from Hollywood Lash. Okay, so let's get into it, baby, because I need to test out this lash paint. Okay, this adhesive, yeah, I need to see if it's going to give what it needs to give. OMG, I haven't put on lashes in a while, so I just feel like a different person right now. But you guys, I swear, using this glue, the lash pen, this is so easy to do. First off, it's clear, and I've been using black lash glue for so long. I use hair glue, okay, because it just has a really good hold. So I was kind of like thrown when I saw that it was clear, but that's really, really good because it kind of comes out not too much, not too little perfect, but it's not super duper close to your lash line. So thank God it's clear because I do have some glue that's like up here that my finger is sticking to but it's clear so you can't tell that i like you know got a little messy with it we love that and it does not take long to dry it says allow 30 seconds but you don't even need that much time for these lashes to dry these five okay now let's get into the lash style this is me okay because first off 
I didn't even have to cut the lashes. Second of all, I love how they're wispy, but still allows space in between. So you can kind of see my eyes. And if I had some type of eyeshadow, you would be able to see the look. It's giving, honey, okay? I'm super excited and I'm about to try a new style, a different one, because I think I want a shorter length. Okay, so y'all know I don't be capping to y'all, but basically, these lashes are for the girlies who really like to get their volume sets when they go get lash extensions and like the thickest volume because, baby, they're thick. Okay, so remember I said the last style, those were for me because there were spaces in between and I'll be able to see, like, the the um the eyeshadow that i do yeah these are not them um and they're only short they appear to be shorter because they are super duper curly um but these are really really cute still like i love the style also you guys this glue is for my sensitive eyes girls because i have sensitive eyes and i'm kind of scared to like press the pin down i don't want any of the glue to drip down but to be honest i don't even smell anything y'all know how hair glue stinks yeah this is it's a scent. Hold on. It is a very light scent. Like, because I have a really good nose, so I can't tell you what smells like this. It smells like that because it's so light. And that's really good for those who have sensitive skin and sensitive eyes. Now, once I had my eyes teared up, I can't even smell it to like have that effect happen with my eyes. You know what I'm saying? Like I love it. And the more I wear this style, I actually kind of like. I think it kind of goes with the Bamiana. You know what I'm saying? Short short hair, short lashes. But yeah, these are super cute. You can't tell me I just look so nice and flirty. Ah, okay. So just for y'all, I'm going to show y'all another pair. And this time, I'm going to do an experiment, okay? <laughs> so y'all know how... I reapplied the glue that time to put these babies on. I am going to see if we can just straight apply these lashes to my eyes without adding more glue. So let's try. I'm going straight in. No more extra lash glue. Let's see. Okay, y'all, so I'm not going to cap. Um, I have to cut these a little bit, but that's perfectly fine. Like, that don't mean nothing. They just have, like, a little bit too long of a band right here. So, I'm going to cut that off. But, y'all, I know y'all saw how that glue was gluing. Okay. Okay, so yeah, you guys, super cute, super, super cute, and the glue really works. Like, the more you also, like, press it into your lash line, these babies ain't going nowhere. So, that is just amazing, okay? These are super cute. So, yeah, you guys, that really wraps up this video. I would love to sit here and try on every single style for you guys, but I just don't have the time of this day. So, yeah, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you learned something from this light summer beat. Literally, I'm touching, literally, I'm touching all on my face and, like, I don't even feel a thing. You didn't even see no makeup. Stop playing with me. So, yeah, that was me. It's to die for. Stop playing with me. And these lashes are just so cute. I'm feeling myself. I haven't seen myself with lashes on in so long. So, I look a little weird to myself, but, like, really, really cute. I love every style. I love how easy the pen is. I can't wait to try the liner out. Um, I just didn't want that style for today. Like, I didn't want anything too dramatic because it's a light summer beat with minimal, minimal makeup. And I also really want to try the lash curler on my real lashes. I'm probably going to take these out today and curl my real lashes, apply a little bit of mascara, and keep it pushing. But I love how Hollywood Lash eyelashes can take my summer minimal makeup look to, like, the next step, you know? So she's cute.
Make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe. Make sure you follow all of Hollywood Lash social media. Follow me on social media. Comment down below what you think about the summer makeup look and the lashes. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, mamas. Hold it, got the dump in, yeah, boy. Know what I mean, bitch. On it, on it, on it, on it.